Sir, Commander 12 Mechanized Brigade, General Brigade 2, report. Multinational Battalion ready to transfer authority ceremony. Thank you, Brigadier Truth. Good to see you again. Yes, sir, okay. sir. You're fine. All right. advanced multinational force made up of land, air, maritime and special forces uh, operations components that the alliance can deploy quickly wherever needed. The NRF has the overarching purpose of being able to provide a rapid military response to an emerging crisis whether for collective defense purposes or other crisis response operation. The NATO response force will become more important once we finish Afghanistan mission next year. It will provide a vehicle to demonstrate operational readiness and to act as a test bed for the Alliance transformation. It can be used for the implementation of the Connected Forces Initiative as a vehicle for greater cooperation in education and training, increased exercises and better use of technology, as you can see here on this training field. In order to achieve all this, in order to achieve readiness and combat effectiveness, the NATO Response Force needs to train and exercise. And that is exactly what we are going to do together over the next 12 days. My command, Allied Joint Force Command, is the core of the Joint Task Force Headquarters. And as we speak, my headquarters is deploying to Riga. This Headquarters is going to conduct a command post exercise in order to train and exercise how to command and control a joint task force compromised of maritime, land and air assets. The LIFEX that is going to take place here in Tarasco Pomons 
is of utmost importance because what you will see and what you are doing is generating visible assurance. You are visible and visitors will see you. You will be conducting a live demonstration next week on the 7th of November during our Distinguished Visitors Day. During this day, high level authorities from NATO, our nations and our partner nations will see you demonstrating readiness and combat effectiveness. I have stopped counting those personalities, but I am convinced we will see at least five presidents. Amongst those, of course, the host nation, the Polish president, many, many defense ministers and much, much more generals. So that is a wonderful thing. Your rule during this exercise is therefore essential for our common success. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for your commitment. I know that you simply obey orders, but let me thank you also that you are here demonstrating your capability. I want to thank my Polish friends under the magnificent leadership of Brigadier General Kochanowski. Amongst friends, it's Brigadier K. It's much easier. Uh, General Berszynski and General Tuss, uh, who reported this morning, your brigade commander. And let me also thank at least the mighty national battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel Pavel Skutza, for his uh, professionality and for his commitment. And I want to thank you again, all you, uh, for your service, for your great commitment, and for what you are doing. I wish you a successful training, that you all benefit, at least, when I look into those seven flags, it is wonderful seeing that seven out of 28 nations do this adventure uh, here together in Glasgow, and I'm proud to be part of the team. Very much looking forward to learning and see from you and seeing you in action. Thank you. Um, okay, we are in Polish language. Yes. Yeah, I know. Lithuania and Poland, you have your history. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Vitaly? Yeah. We all love Vitaly Klitschko. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the team. That is Anko. No contract, no signature. Thank you, sir. But also true. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. you for joining us.
Watch those TVs. 